Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I wanted to make a different video about London and living in London. Um, so I guess it's not going to be for everyone, but if you're interested, if you want to hear about what's it like to live in London, how London changed and if it's still worth it to move to London, then keep on watching. And if you like this type of videos, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos about perfumes, beauty and different kinds of chats. So today it's not going to be any visuals, just like a podcast style um, video. So I just wanted to talk about how London has changed recently and if it's still worth it. Um, so there are a few things I wanted to talk about and um if anyone is more interested I'm, i can make more videos about this but i will just see if anyone even watches this video <laughs> so um so first thing is obviously i think most people know about cost of living that has uh, risen pretty much everywhere in the world i think but particularly in london it's just crazy so everything including food and just basic items has literally almost doubled in price and uh, even though it was already super expensive before before um you know maybe five years ago it was obviously very expensive but now it's just shot up to exorbitant amounts and uh, it's just insane so <laughs> no one can afford london anymore so my advice to anyone who wants to move to london you have to really consider if you can afford it because not only the actual everyday items are crazy expensive but also the rents are going up like crazy the last few years maybe three years is just gone insane so yeah 30 percent increase at the very minimum depending on where you live so yeah it's tough out there then uh, so that's changed a lot and uh, then other things also changed a lot which is obviously people are not spending they're not going out as much as they used to so you would see a certain places in um, very popular locations, restaurants, bars that used to be packed, you couldn't get in, you couldn't get a reservation. Now they are, um, well, maybe not empty, but you can get a reservation very easily. And some of the restaurants even, <laughs> and they are sending you offers with discounts and they're literally begging for clients, for customers. So yeah and these are like the top top restaurants so yeah i mean in theory when you walk into them then you'll see people but it's not how it used to be so um, next thing is that um, people are less friendly i've noticed that if you're trying to maybe find directions if you're walking around People are getting less and less friendly. I mean, London and, you know, any big city is always famous for um, people not being super friendly. But now it's just the next level. Everyone's walking around with these big, giant headphones. And there is, I mean, you could be literally needing help and no one's going to help you because they're just on their phone. They're on their, you know, listening to their whatever music. And yeah. It's just strange and even if you like try to get their attention they actually get scared and well they're scared of me so i don't know what else they're scared of but anyway moving on um some of the uh you know you obviously we have lots of luxury shops lots of uh, amazing shops and high street brands and everything and you can notice that some of on high streets you know, lo local areas, High Street is like a local area for each little area of London. Some shops have moved out. There is lots of closures, lots of empty units. And I don't know if anyone's talking about it, but I think on some channels you can 
hear about it, but um, yeah, there's a lot of that going on. And yeah, there's like the one street that I live next to and literally every unit is empty. It says for rent and it's just been empty for months and months on end. And you know, I live in a very, well, not a very affluent area, but in a very good area. So yeah, another thing is that you have to make sure if you're moving to London, you have to make sure you're actually moving in a good area because um, if you don't, then it's tricky nowadays. I've heard obviously recently there were some very strange incidents and yeah, you have to make sure that you're in the area that at least there is some sort of level of safety, especially if you're a girl. So highly recommend. And um, yeah, London is good actually. If you have wealthy parents, they're gonna buy you um, an apartment, they're gonna pay for your life, then this is an amazing place because obviously then you can just fully enjoy it. But if you're just a normal person, then it's gonna be, it, well, it's not guaranteed, but it can be tough. And the um, things you have to do is maybe move in some other areas that are a bit cheaper, or maybe you, you have to downgrade your lifestyle a little bit and somehow you'll be able to survive. But, but yeah, it's just gonna be much tougher than it used to be like before, you know, 2020, it was much different. Um, so also another thing is that some of the luxury brands are also moving out. They are closing stores, even in the top locations like Bond Street or um, other locations that they have in the top locations in like best streets, they are closing. So there are channels that talk about this as well. So yeah, it's, uh, it's tough out there. So anyway, the video might cut off in a minute, so I'm just going to wrap it up here and let me know if anyone is interested in more videos about London, like a real life in London, because obviously some YouTubers show a glamorized version, which obviously is understandable because that sells. But if you want like a real chat about London, then let me know in the comments. Just write your comments down below. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you like videos like this and also if you love perfumes and beauty and fashion and yeah girly things so that's all for today thank you so much for watching if anyone made it this far just give me an emoji like a smile or a heart or anything in the comments please and thank you so much bye